of the stand-up comics who are all in. Robert Schimmel, the late, great Robert Schimmel. 1979, he lives in Phoenix. He has a wife and a child, and he's a stereo salesman. So he comes to Los Angeles for electronics convention, 1979. He goes over to the improvisation, always interested in stand-up comedy. Doesn't know it, but his sister puts his name in on amateur night. He goes on stage, does well. Bud Freeman, the owner of the improv, says, you've passed. You're now a regular at the improv. You can come down here and hang out, perform anytime. Schimmel goes back to Phoenix, informs his wife that he's now in show business. We are leaving Phoenix immediately, and we're moving to Los Angeles, where I am now a regular at one of the premier comedy clubs in all the world. She's not sold on it, but too late. Robert's made the decision for everybody, and they're gone. So he's got the car packed, the U-Haul behind the car. They're driving from Phoenix to Los Angeles the whole way. The wife is doubting. I don't know if this is the right move. It seems kind of hasty. Wait till we get there, honey. Wait till you see this club. You'll know. You'll know. I'll be there in this club. This is the center of showbiz for stand-up comics. This is it. So they drive in Los Angeles at dawn, 6 in the morning. So I'll tell you what, honey. Before we even go to our apartment, I'm going to show you the club. Let's drive by the club. So he's got his wife and the kid in the car and U-Haul trail behind. They pull in front of the improvisation, which is just burning ruins, smoldering ashes. It burned. It was set on fire the night before. <laughs> I'm sure unpacking the car was a little bit more tense than Robert thought it was going to be.